Hi everyone, I'm Michael, one of the co-founders of Capacities, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of the app. Let's dive in. The most important concept of Capacities is that of objects. What is an object? Just as in the real world, an object in Capacities is something that's important enough to be a thing. A thing something that makes sense in your world. All content in Capacities is an object. And as you can see in the sidebar here, that's where I find all the objects I have. There are some built-in object types, such as generic pages, or media types, such as web links to bookmark content from the internet, um, PDFs, tweets, files, or audio files. But you can also have your own custom object types. And I, for example, have recipes as an object type where I uh, store and collect all my favorite recipes that I've cooked or that I want to cook. I also have quotes as an object types where I collect all the quotes I want to remember that I encounter in, in my reading or um, on Twitter, for example. Um, and Speaking of reading, I also have books as an object type where I store and collect all the books that I'm reading um, and add some, some reading notes. And uh, this, for example, is a, is a really cool book where I put down some notes. And you can see that it also has certain properties. Here we have a cover image. We have an author, um, status, I'm still reading this, this book, um, rating, and so on. And here this author field links to just another object. In this, in this case, to a person. So if I click on it, I get to the page of this, of this person um, with also some properties. And note down here that it shows me the backlink section, the link um, back to the book. And this person also lives in my large collection of, of people. Um, so this is also an object that's inside the people database. And now I want to show you how easy it is to work with objects. Capacities doesn't use any folders. You just create new content by clicking this big button and then type in the kind of objects that you want to add. For example, um, another person, in this case, I'm just making this up, um, from work. And just to make a point, um, I can create new objects from anywhere, for example, um, working on important project together with, then I simply type plus and also person and then another colleague. So here I've created just another person um, in line from writing within the text. And if I click on it, you can see that this uh, links to just another person and I even see the contextual backlink down here where it's coming from. from. So I hope this gave you an idea of what objects are and how you can, can use them in capacities. Well, sometimes just using your object types to organize all your content is not enough. And to solve this, capacities relies heavily on linking. So this basically means that instead of putting your content into folders top down, you approach it from the bottom up. So from the content where you're actually currently working on, you simply create links uh, in the form of tags, collections, or link to other objects to, to relate it to other content and make it part of a network of ideas. So here we have the example of a delicious shawarma recipes, recipe. And at the top, you can see that I've added it to the collection of Mediterranean recipes, which is basically a, a subcategory of recipes. Um, just to show you what it looks like, here I collect all the recipes um, from this from the same direction. And below I could um, add additional tags um, basically to categorize it in, in any um, imaginable way. In this case, I've used um, a cuisine property, which is a multi-select property um, with additional tags to, to categorize it um, with different cuisine cultures and regions that it's part of. Um, here I have a goes well with property where I link 
to other recipes uh, that I can cook this together with. And here of the bot at the bottom, of course, um, is the content. And to show you these relationships, I'm going to open up the graph view real quick. And this is a local graph view that gives you a visualization of all the related content of this recipe. So here in the colors, um, we can see the tags that are related to it. Um, here we see some, some pictures that are linked with it. Um, and here you see the collection that I showed you earlier. So this is how the combination of object types and very powerful bottom-up tagging and linking, you can um, organize your content and create a network of ideas. And now one final piece is missing, and this is the daily note. There's actually a hint um, on this page for this, which is this link um, in the cooked property, which is just the text property, where I've added the date when I uh, cooked this recipe the last time. And when I now click on this, it brings me to the daily note um, in a nice calendar layout um, of this day. And we can actually see here that I put down some, some reflections and some note on a podcast episode I've been listening to on this day. Interesting. Um, and here at the bottom, um, on the references, I see that I cooked this shawarma recipe that we just looked at. Um, moreover, down here, I can see all the content I created on this day. It seems like I took a lot of, um, I collected a lot of, of recipes um, on this day, created some tags, some screenshots. So this is a great way to browse your content um, chronologically and go back in time and see when you've actually created something. Um, now let's look at daily notes a little further. And for this, I'm going to jump to today. So in addition to what I just showed you, daily notes are, quite, are great to um, jot down a quick to-do list of what you want to achieve during that day. Um, write down thoughts and ideas, interesting snippets that you encounter throughout the day. And um, review your day, write down um, some, some reflections and so on. What's also possible is to define templates for things such as a daily routine to um, to then apply them for this day. I, for example, have this um, daily 60-minute communication routine. Um, and in addition, I try to track activities that I'm doing every day, such as sport, reading, um, audio book, and so on. And from here, um, of course, I link to, to the content. Um, for example, here we can create a link to the book we looked at earlier, um, Ecology of Money. And then say here, yeah, write a chapter in psychology of money. So these are some super useful things about the daily note. There's one more thing I want to show you what you can do with daily notes. And finally, I want to show you our input integrations. You can connect your email, Telegram, or WhatsApp with capacities. And once you have that set up, you can use it to send messages, voice recordings, files, or images straight to your daily notes. Here, for example, I used WhatsApp to send a quote I wanted to remember, and also just below a picture that I took. And just the same works with your email. Here, I wanted to make sure to check out this podcast episode, um, so forwarded the newsletter to my daily notes. So this is it. This has been a quick tour of capacities. I hope you enjoyed. I can promise you that there's much more to explore. For example, super fast full text search, import and export in various formats, a super powerful editor, and also a mobile app that is currently being tested with all capacities believers. As a final note, I want to stress that we are building a tool for individuals and our users are extremely important to us. Um, as a matter of fact, capacities wouldn't be the way it is today without all the feedback, the countless ideas and bug reports from our community. If you want to help shape capacities and build it together with us, feel free to join our community. You can find a link to our Discord server in the description below.